Supernatural has 15 seasons under its belt, and the fandom is enamored enough to keep the show on loop for many years to come. It is one of the longest-running shows that have managed to maintain its watchability for committed fans. As with many series, there was the chance that the finale might hurt the show, and indeed some say it did. But there are a whole bunch of episodes fans are watching over and over again. Join us in this video as we bring you highlights from those. First up, there's Season 3's Mystery Spot, Episode 11. Most of this episode is spent driving Sam Winchester to a psychotic break, and fans list it as one of the most rewatchable episodes in the entire series. Fans are saying that this episode is on their rewatch list every month or two. The humor is brilliant, and Dean's multiplicity of deaths is highly inventive. This episode is another indisputable home run for the trickster, and this is why Mystery Spot makes it to the top spot for many fans who binge on repeats, reruns, and rewatches. Episode 3 of Season 3, Bad Day at Black Rock, is right up there with Mystery Spot. The monster of the week in this episode is a rabbit's foot. Bearing that in mind, one would think the episode doesn't nearly deserve the high spot Bad Day at Black Rock earns. But the episode is just that good. It is rated right alongside all episodes featuring Gabriel the Trickster, and again, it is the comedy value that props it up. Dean's classic quote, I'm Batman, and Sam is I lost my shoe, is one of his best in the entire series. Controversial characters Bella Talbot and Gordon Walker also make an appearance. The whole episode is a fun fest, and watching it makes it easy to see why fans go back to it all the time. Remember Swan Song? That's the episode where Lucifer takes control of Sam's body. More about that coming up in a moment. Stay with us. Then from Season 9, Dog Dean Afternoon. With Supernatural, ridiculous concepts often turn into the funniest episodes of a season. Dog Dean Afternoon is one of those, and it's also one that fans revisit all the time. In this episode, Dean tries to communicate with animals. It is, without a doubt, some of Jensen Ackles' best work in the series. From Season 6, The French Mistake is also rated in the top 10 most rewatchable episodes in the series. After all, it's impossible to look past any of the meta episodes. From seeing Misha Collins playing, well, Misha Collins, to the meta commentary on the show itself, it is a laugh a minute. And then, just for good measure, there is Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki making the botched attempt to be actors named Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki. The fun doesn't stop for a whole 40 minutes. Two Minutes to Midnight is the 21st episode of Season 5, and it's not as funny as the others on the ranking, but then, not all rewatchable episodes need to be funny. When the original questionnaire about the most rewatchable episodes went out to fans, this one hit list after list. Firstly, and more about that shortly, death is introduced in this episode, and Sam proves both his heroism and worth. Bobby and Crowley are hilarious, and it is the perfect precursor to the final episode in Season 5. That's a mouthful, but wait, it was also rated as one of the best episodes from the Kripke era. Now, as every Died in the Wool Supernatural fan knows, there are only two characters in the race for the best introduction of the series, and Death is one of them. Firstly, away from the Winchesters, Death got his own isolated scene. He arrives on his infamous pale horse in Chicago and walks on the sidewalk in slow motion to the accompaniment of Oh Death. The climax comes when he brushes his shoulder and instantly kills a passerby. Granted, the guy was rather rude. This introduction was both bone-chilling and epic. Also, once more from Season 5, Swan Song. Two Minutes to Midnight pairs with Swan Song like steak pairs with good red wine. They should be enjoyed together, according to many fans. This episode is more emotional and deeper than most of the meta and funny episodes, so it's actually tough to watch if you don't have context. It is the emotional weight it carries that makes it good, and it is also significant. It is the epitome of what Supernatural can be, according to fans, both funny and heartbreaking. In this episode, Lucifer takes control of Sam, and at the same time, the Winchesters try to prevent the apocalypse. Sam was always protected by Dean, that much we know. He never allowed Sam to die or even get badly hurt, but Dean was powerless to protect Azazel from infecting his brother with demon blood, and he could do nothing about Sam's eventual addiction to the stuff. But during the Kripke era, there were times Dean would imply Sam was a freak because of the demon blood and psychic powers he displayed. He even called Sam a freak at times, and as we all know, Sam had a deep respect for Dean's opinion, and it hurt. He felt like he was a monster and a freak. Sam eventually quit the demon blood, but even after he'd managed to break his addiction, he used it again, gallons of it. This was the only way his body could act as a vessel for Lucifer in Swansong. Still 
hailed as Supernatural's best episode. Sam and Lucifer remained in a Supernatural wrestling match to maintain control of Sam's body. Lucifer wanted to defeat Michael, and Sam wanted to jump into the pit of hell. This was, without a doubt, the best possession episode in the series. Whether it was possession by a monster, demon, or angel, this possession was the most important of all too. It ushered in a new era of Supernatural, without Eric Kripke, and it also prevented the apocalypse. There was one episode that was told by the Impala, and remember that Sam, Dean, and the Impala were the only constants in the entire Supernatural series. For more on that, keep watching until the end. Now, Yellow Fever from Season 4. Some fans say before Supernatural, they were never able to re-watch an episode of a single show. But now they keep returning, especially to Yellow Fever. Remember Dean's hilarious scream, and him saying, that was scary, it was in this episode. It's essentially a Monster of the Week episode. There's a spirit, and there's ghost sickness. So it's a little more than just another funny journey with the Winchesters. Season 5's Changing Channels also received high numbers of fan votes. The Kripke era probably had the best Monster of the Week episode. Episodes, and The Trickster was a fan favorite. Those episodes that get high votes and didn't make it onto the top 10 list also mostly have The Trickster in them. Look, this episode has more comedy value than most, it has fantastic comedic performances, and the story is hilarious. It also carries the Gabriel Twist storyline and the implications for the Winchester's future. That gives it solid story material over and above the comedy value. And who can ever forget the lads taking part in the procedural cop show? and, of course, Dean's freak out. In fan fiction from season 10, fans are also finding solace in a supernatural episode they can return to over and over again now that the series has ended. For a show to make it to 100 episodes, it is monumental. When a show surpasses 200 episodes, though, it is earth-shattering. And this episode was exactly that celebration, the 200th episode of Supernatural. In the episode, Sam and Dean investigate a missing drama teacher, and they discover that a supernatural musical is taking place at the very school that the teacher went missing from. The entire episode is a complete delight, and especially so for anyone who has followed the show for an extended period. References abound right from the first scene. J was there. So was Dean's cry face with the single man tear. Links to the X-Files were acknowledged. It begs to be watched over and over again. And finally, from season 11, Baby. It took the show some time to get as good as it was post Kripke. And to many of the fans, season 11 remains one of the best seasons after Kripke. Fans rewatch Baby in droves. This happens partly because the episode is simply beautifully made. The dialogue is crisp, the scenes are full of emotion, the sing-song is fantastic, and Dean's driving is as badass as it gets. The fans get to see a day on the road on a hunt from the view of the Impala, and if you think about it, the episode pays homage to the only constant in Supernatural, apart from the Winchesters of course, and that is, yes, the Impala. Whichever way you look at it, Supernatural was an iconic series. It minced bone-chilling scares with side-splitting humor, and built a universe of fans most series only dream about. It launched the careers of two super actors, and fans continue going back to episodes long after the show has ended. That's a recipe for true success. And that's also how we'll end this video. Thanks for joining us and staying till the end. Remember to keep your eyes peeled for our next upload.